What is going on guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we are going to be looking at Man of the Match Rodrigo. I think it is going for over 100k and that is a lot of money to dash on a 79k, uh 79k, 79 overall player card. So if you guys are looking for a cheap reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description, use the code ITANI to get 5% off. Now, um... Some people are going to really hate him and some people are going to really love him. So there's going to be mixed opinions. There's not going to be, maybe there might be some people in the middle. They might want to keep trying him out, giving him chances, but it is all down to personal preference. Now, to begin with, this guy's got really good pace. He's got really high acceleration and really high sprint speed, and it definitely shows on the pitch. So you won't need a striker any faster. Also, like, you know, having a faster striker would always be a bonus, but how much pace this guy has, it def definitely is felt on the pitch. So his stats for his pace is good. Now, decent dribbler. I thought he was a better dribbler from what his uh, face card stats were showing. I expected him to be not as agile, but his agility is like 83, and I felt he was, um, well, there was no problem really dribbling with this guy. It was good. Very good finish in the penalty area. I felt that his finishing should actually be higher, because in the, in the penalty area, I felt his finishing, there was no problem finishing with him, and it was really, really Really good but four star weak foot four star skills as well so that's another big advantage there for you skillers or if you got if you guys like to you know shoot with his right foot there you go so decent shot power inside the penalty area so within the penalty area you would think that this guy has a uh, powerful enough shot to hit into the back of the net but anything outside the penalty area this guy has a very very weak shot so don't even bother shooting with him I think I left one or two clips showing you guys trying to highlight how weak his shot is outside the penalty area with his left foot or even with his right it doesn't matter it is both well it's just weak overall now, like I said, uh, he has decent agility, and with that, he comes with good positioning, surprisingly, because his work rates aren't exactly perfect, but, I don't know, he was always in position, every time I needed him, he was there, and he was making runs, really important runs, and you'll see one that ended it with a goal because of that run he made by himself. He is very weak, surprisingly, because he has high, uh, well, not high, decent aggression, I guess, and decent strength. I think 76 strength, which is okay. I felt he should be stronger, but from looking at his stats, I expected him to be stronger, but he wasn't. I felt he was weak. Outside the penalty area, like I said, shooting is basically a no-no. It's just too weak, his shot. His finesse shots are crap as well, so if you like to take finesse shots or shooting outside the penalty area, this might not be the guy for you. Also, as a target man, you won't like him because his heading sucks. Uh, this guy, I tried heading it with him a couple of times. Uh, actually, not even a couple of times. I eight to ten times. He did not win me even one header. Not even one goal was a header, and I crossed it loads of times. Martinez would always be, um, you know, the guy that is going to be my target man. He was the one that always heads it into the back of the net. This guy was never able to win any defender in, uh, you know, an aerial fight. So that is all there is to it for this play review. I wouldn't exactly recommend him, or should I? Rec I don't even know. He's decent. But it really depends on if you support Benefica or if you, um, you know, just like the player overall, like like him in real life. That's the only reason I could see people buying him for the price he's going for. But, you know, for gameplay wise and how effective he is in matches, I don't think he's exactly that amazing to, you know, pay that much for him. But overall, he's a decent player. Not good, not amazing, not bad, not very bad, just decent. But that is all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day.